Did you know that only 10% of Hanzo headshots were actually deliberate? Oh. Well, today I'm going to be playing Hanzo for 10 hours, ranking up, learning from the best, and above all, attempting to create the ultimate montage at the end of the video. And in hour one, one thing became very apparent. Dude, half the time, I'm not even looking at my screen. Now, I'm not trying to say Hanzo doesn't take skill, but in these first three games, my gameplay would transition from this headshotting monster oh! to a five-year-old whose brother has just gone to get something to eat mid-game. Ow! No one, we need someone to die for the nope. edge. I can't hit him! He slapped. Leave him! Who? If you guys can hold the front, we can support. Hold the front, bro. We're not playing. <laughs> Dude, we're not playing World War Two simulator. What the yeah. fuck? Oh. Should have held the front, bro. And That's these next two games were much the same. Record. It's a one way, bro. I don't one know about way. that, but <laughs> I can see their legs. They can't see. As they walk in. Oh, oh it's fuck! A, it's a one way. As with every good play, would come an equally trash one. one. Fuck, man. What am I doing? Oh, fuck, man. So, I decided to Google Hanzo guy, give me some sort of gauge on what I was supposed to be doing. And out of all of the guys on YouTube, one really shone through. Hi, my name is Arige. I got 2,500 hours of Hanzo playtime. I just ended at 4.6k playing pretty much only had so and i think it's safe to say this guy has quite a bit of experience as i felt personally these two guides gave the best tips in the shortest amount of time but if i had to sum it up there are three things you can instantly do to improve your gameplay firstly rather than flicking from one side of the map to the other pick one side and wait for them to walk back into your crosshair this is much more consistent as these flashy flicks was the first trap which i fell for in this first hour what are you aiming at Next up, if someone is deliberately moving around to dodge your arrows, it makes hitting them almost impossible. So switching targets is ideal. And my final tip is do not rush, something Arge really displays best in his gameplay. And in the first game of Hour 3, my duo recognized two familiar faces from yesterday. Wait, they got those two toxic healers from yesterday. Oh my god, they do. Alright, we gotta, we gotta win, we gotta win. And after losing the first round, I homed in on the skills Dang. that I learned from the previous hour. Got one. All got fire as well. I killed zero. Bro, I'm in the matrix. Oh, Seb, I'm just missed the... Oh! Oh, you hit those. Oh! Wait, let me get this. Oh, put it in the montage. Oh my god. All that time I spent researching was finally paying off in some sweet revenge. <laughs> oh, good. Help. Trace on me, trace on me. Oh. Special channel. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this guy okay? He said, do you solo dragon me? Got him again? I don't know why. It's epic. This guy is so mad. Keep in mind, I wasn't talking any trash back to these guys up until this point. I'm gonna hit him with a T-Bag. Oh, you're right, Zach, you're right, Zach. You're, right, you're, right, you're, you're him, you're him, you're him. Bro, surely you can just play the game for fun. Dude, why are they so tilted? So I'm rolling these noob kills. Bro, he's hitting me with noob kills, not the noob kills. Farted. And whilst this first game went well, I was still being struck by every player's worst nightmare. Consistency. And after losing the next two games of the hour, I decided to sleep and then figure out what to do in the morning. Wait, look at this workshop code I found. It's actually sick. It basically shows you how far in front of you you should be shooting. That's actually so useful. Wait, for some reason I swear it was like way f you have to shoot way further in front. Whilst this is still quite basic, it aided in giving me a better visual representation in my mind whilst playing. And after 40 minutes of practicing, I decided to play one more game before the hour ended. That was a fast effort for me. Oh! Wait, hey, monkey, can we jump in? <laughs> There's no one wants, wants to hear you, bro. <laughs> Hi bro! Oh my god, he's making my dick like it! 
Oh! Oh my god. Bro, he's playing monkey on defense. Nah, dude, this game sucks ass. I don't want to play this anymore, dude. Nah, bro, we got this. Lost my duo called off a little. Dude, we don't got this because one game. game. We have like, we have physically and mentally just Bro, that can't come on YouTube. I decided to do VOD reviews to really pick up on where I was making errors. And I came to a realization that my positioning was a serious aspect of my gameplay that was lacking. Even in this moment here, when I blamed my healers, I was literally running out of line of sight of my Ana up until my death. So, in this next game, I really homed in on these skills. That's the body check. Oh, I wouldn't even was a big telly bomb I am. I think I hit there, I'm on Again and again. Look at my lantern. That's, that was a, that was sick, a sick lantern, lantern, lantern bro. On with the last but this whole town I know. Such a lonely sight. Color red inside oh, our veins. Eek. <laughs> what the fuck? All the practice was convoluting to some insane plays. The other side of insane. Dark and powerful rains of the trace of sucks. But I still see you. Forty limbs, thirty two limbs. God damn. God damn. God damn. And this is probably a good time to introduce you to why I was actually doing this challenge. Being the flex player that I am, last year after gaining three thousand competitive credits, I bought Hanzo's gold gun with the sole purpose of proving that he's just luck. After winning another game in hour six. Let's go! I'm actually starting to do better. I really felt like my gameplay was starting to improve, so I decided to introduce some more advanced techs. Oh, we are going to get the diamond. Bro, that's literally impossible. So I got a plan. Bro, Seb literally just needs to calm down every single time he dies. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Dude, I... Yeah. You know? And I'm whipping out matrix movement, so it's basically impossible to lose. What even is that? And that's a good question. Matrix movement essentially involves the manipulation of Hanzo's hitbox to make it harder for the enemy to hit you. Oh, wait, that's actually broken. And after practicing for the next 15 minutes, I proceeded to play two more games in ranked. So if you if that Bro, I finished game with Makes you want to cream. In the hole. Please. <laughs> Hold up, flank with me, flank with me. Come, 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 come. Oh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh! Oh. And don't leave just yet, because this end montage is going to be even more sick. So far within this challenge, I have really no outside perspective on where my potential errors in my gameplay might lie. Additionally, this form of coaching has really paid off in the past. So once again, I've got my Grandmaster DPS coach and friend to review one of my games. Uh, I see a common, common mistake there. Um... Holy shit. Okay. Uh, too flicky. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. You need to slow down, you need to put the rest in your hand joints. Dude, I, I, just, I literally couldn't hit a shot for like four minutes. Ah, uh, yes, but I feel like you're forgetting the most crucial part of the game. This offered new insights that I hadn't even considered before and helped broaden my overall understanding of how a Hanzo player might think. Furthermore, any personal bias which my previous review had was now gone as I had someone else's point of view. Going into our 8's first game, everything was starting to look up. Oh, he got sucked down, he got sucked down, nice. Got the other. Oh, fuck, what the hell? I killed Rez, dead. On his one fucking HP. My aim was feeling smooth. Still blinking. He misses hook. Oh! I wasn't rushing every shot. They don't see me. And I even somehow managed to win. Diamond soon. This guy is literally refusing to heal me. What? Unless you die. Dodge spear. Ankle's broken. Literally snapped in half. <gasps> and no matter how many picks I got, we would always lose. 
Dude, he's dead. We for real. Oh, we're going. No, he's just gonna get res in like five seconds. No, I'm blocking res. Right, kill bull. Kill bull. Break it, break it, Shep. Nice. Hey, Mar Marty could just be a zebra, you know, like from Madagascar. Bro, there's, li there's literally gonna be nothing. I'm just dying and losing every game. Ugh. And it was almost 2 a.m., meaning my four stack was coordinating some interesting plays. And you guys see me? Um, Alright, let me, let me check. Let me someone check. get in the other one. Someone get in the other yeah. one. Yeah. What do you mean the other one? That one oh, this one. one. They won't fight. I look mad it's comfy. Like, like. Wait, wait, Cact. They're actually not gonna see Cactus there. <laughs> but I was not gonna give up that easy. Had a really well played, good round. Good luck, have fun next round. <laughs> hey Ross, sauce it up. Holy fuck. Nuts. This is what I call the crab pig. They show you right because you broke On a one. Oh. Hog's no heal, Hog no heal. Oh. That's a good look at Or to win. Let's break the trap, maybe. <laughs> And with that, the challenge had been complete. I had played 10 hours of Hanzo gameplay and figured out that Hanzo is not just luck. Every time you get hit by those tree trunk arrows, there's some sort of skill behind it. Also, please join my Discord. It would mean the world to me. <laughs> no, this is mine, bro. I <laughs> both our supports are in No, you 